And I'm cake, y'all. Y'all know I ride Jet Blue over there. My thing is to make sure Rich do what I taught him to do <laughs> so that he could Works for me. get better at riding his gold wing. Hey, is that a... Everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Rider. This is Rich. You guys seen us do sharp right and left turns and U-turns and all this type of stuff when we do parking lot practices. But you never really seen our parking lot practice with a group. Today we have a group here of four riders, including myself. And the reason we don't, don't really record the parking lot practice is because I like to be up close and personal with you guys. That's why we do one-on-ones. And today, I don't know how long I'm gonna have the camera running, but we got this parking lot practice going on. You're gonna see our whole parking lot slow skill course so stay tuned ah. fix my pants <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't want to lose your uh your caps mm -hmm. nice small small turnouts we should get pretty pretty quick or we're just going to do a lot of repetitions as we see fit you know i've ridden with you many times i know how you ride first time so obviously first time riding everything what we're going to do today is go through the entire course what i like to do is talk about it before we go to it and show you exactly what we're going to do Prior to that, <laughs> housekeeping. If somebody dropped their bike, it's all about safety. As much as we want to help people, don't get tunnel vision and we on our bikes and go there crash. Relax, look around, make sure that nobody's going to help that person up and then proceed to help somebody with their bike. If you get your bike up on your own, that's fine. But us out here, why struggle? Okay, no need to struggle if we don't have to. Next thing is housekeeping. This lot, I'm close. We don't record too much group practice, so I won't get it as much as I can. This lot is not free. They just let us use it because I don't know where the guy is. He used to cake and I bringing people here. So this is why we can't use this on a Saturday or Sunday. We do Saturday and Sunday, big spot back there. That's where we're going to be. So when I put out the thing for Saturday and Sunday, that's where we're going to be. So while we're here, the fastest we're probably going to be going today is 20 miles or 25 miles an hour. We have no sports bike, no races, no speed and everything. So keep that in mind because we don't want to get kicked out here when we can use it. Okay. Next thing is we're going to do introductions. You guys know we normally don't, don't record. The last one we recorded was behind cycle gear. <laughs> we don't know, record our, our big practices. Uh, I just like to be up close and personal. That's why we come out here after practice. We'll do one-on-ones. When you're seeing the practices that we do on the, the YouTube videos, it's normally after we just finish the practice, and then we'll go, okay, what everybody was struggling with, let's do a video on that. That's how we get to that. Okay, so from here, we're going to do introductions. Introduction, I only need a couple things. You ain't got to put your whole social security number on it or nothing like that. If you choose to put your bank account, that's fine with me. <laughs> so... All I'm looking for is your name, you have to do your last name, type of bike you're riding, and what you're hoping to get out of this practice. That's it. And I'll start with me. My name is Rich. I'm with Boots and Jeans Riders, and GWRRA, Gold Ring Road Ride Association. <laughs> and today, my objective for you today is for you to be at least 1% better than when you came in that gate right there. Just 1%. If it's 10, 20, 100 percent, then I'm, I'm fine. If I fail to reach that objective, objective, then you're gonna have to come back free. <laughs> <laughs> so, I ride 2015 Goldwing. My bike name is Big Easy. Big Easy, y'all. My bike name is Big Easy. Get over here, baby. You know I love being on camera. <laughs> my bike name is Big Easy, and that's my objective. To have fun. The primary objective: is safety, fun. Okay. Before I go on to the introduction, I want you to remember this. I have a saying. It's follow one course until successful. Follow one course until successful. Who can tell me what I mean by that? Anybody? It's not a right or wrong answer. What do you think? Get a little perfection, a little comfortable in that, uh, whatever you're struggling in. Makes sense to me. What he said? Yeah. <laughs> okay, think about it. Follow one course until successful. Take the first four, first five levels of each thing. What does it spell? Focus. Oh. Follow one course until successful. Focus. So I'm just gonna start saying focus. What I mean by this is you 
Don't worry about if you go ride. Focus on yourself. You, don't worry about if I go ride. Focus on yourself. This is what it's all about. It's about each individual. That's why we call our course Command, Control, and Confidence. You're a command of what you do. Don't worry about what nobody else do. You're going to be in full control of your bike. Your confidence level is going to come up. Okay? I know I went long just saying that was an introduction, but we're going to go by each person, and I'm going to take the camera from Cake so she can do herself first. I don't want to go first. <laughs> What's your name? David. What's your ride, David? 15 go away. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> No, Let no, your guys know he riding a Harley Davidson, but he said go away. That is yeah. a beautiful bike. 2015? Yeah, 2015. Why are you here today? To learn, to be more proficient. That's all that count. What's your name? I'm Robert Taylor. What's I ride, ride with the uh, GWRRA, CME, and GWTA. I'm riding a 2006 Goldwing, and I want to get better on it because I'm used to a different bike. At 1500 and right? yeah i haven't had a chance to practice enough on this thing because it's it's different the way it handles so. your bike not out here today but introduce yourself oh paul 2005 goldwing um <laughs> have to work today so i can't stay for the practice but want to watch and see what i can pick up real quick sounds good sounds good all right kate and i'm cake y'all y'all know i ride jet blue over there my thing is to make sure Rich do what I taught him to do <laughs> so that he could Works for me. get better at riding his gold wing. Hey, is that a right. Harley? No. Oh! <laughs> you guys probably seen that a Harley video. That's the one he's talking about. <laughs> so this this gonna run out of battery. We got another one. I have a third camera. You know, this is why I don't like recording. I like doing one-on-one -on -one personal type stuff. So if the camera go off, hopefully you guys can see the entire practice that we have, just slow skill maneuvers. And if not, We'll do it some other time. So, Hold let me on, go over the I'm course right quick. He's riding the road boss. That's what he called his bike. Hey, hey, that's the name of your but bike. I'm not the boss. That's it fine, is. brother. You know, do what you got to do. Road boss. boss. Right, okay, boss. hold that. I know, Rich. Uh, yeah, we're talking about. Boss of your bike. Right. Yeah. Better be you. Okay. Better be. Hope they're not about to stop us. Because <laughs> because they they say it's always okay. So, that's we're gonna go over the course real quick way. before we actually uh, do it. Right here where you see no cones, uh -huh. that's going to be one of the things I think the most important thing that you can do when you're doing slow maneuvers or any maneuvers in, in general. You're going to do, see the, the, the orange cone? Hey, I need this over here, baby. So I want to explain this whole thing. The orange cones over there, that's going to be emergency braking. Then we're going to change to braking swerve. The first four things we're going to do going to go extremely fast. It's going to go fast. That's going to be braking swerve, emergency braking. Break then we're going to go into uh, clutch control. I think that's how I got it set up. I got to look at my, my documents. Touch control, which is basically slow riding. From there, we're going to go into smooth starts and stops. If you notice, when Kate bought, bought us in, I walked from here to over there because I was evaluating. I'm not evaluating to say you're doing anything wrong, but how can you be better at specific things? What I'm looking at is the smooth stops. So we're going to work on that. One thing you need to remember today, no right foot down. That's going to be down for a while. So we're going to cover that also. We do a couple things here. The first thing we're gonna do is right here. We're gonna do the only time we're gonna get the duck walk our bike. Okay? If you guys saw the videos, we're talking about learning your bike turning radius. I know for sure that bike turning radius a lot tighter than ours. Uh, tighter than I should have brought my uh, I know it. shoes. I know it. So <laughs> you can learn your bike turning radius. Then from there we go into the cone weave. The cone weave is gonna be continuous throughout the day. Throughout the day. Go from the cone weave. The sharp right and left turns, we're going to focus on right more than left because a lot of people overshoot right turns and go farther. So this is what we're going to focus on that. We're going to do some left, we're going to focus on that more than that. That's set up six and the six. The reason it's set up six and the six, because in the United States, each lane's are 12 feet. We just cut it in half. So if you're making a right turn, there's no way you should go out 12 feet. Once you complete this, the confidence level is going to come up. This cone weave, this is where everything's going to slow down. It's going to take our time to get through things. They are set up at 15 feet in short cones. As we get better, we're gonna put the tall cones on. There's no right and wrong. Just do it. We're gonna get through this whole thing today. Then we finish the right and left turns. We come into the U-turns. First set of cones in the U-turns, 27 feet or 30. I gotta remeasure them, I forgot. Second set is 24. We're gonna do right and left U-turns. Mostly left because we're in the United States. Legal U-turns on the streets or left, but obviously you're in the parking lot. 
or going to the gas station, you want to make right U-turns also. Last thing, or second to the last thing, is bike transition. Over there, that'll be what we call offset cone weave. We're gonna walk through everything before we get over there. The last thing over here is a circle weave. Normally, we don't put that into practice, but just to have some fun doing the circle weave. Only eight cones, you're gonna do in the circle, weave it out, in and out the circle. Then the very last thing, I'm not gonna tell you what this is, is right here. When we finish with that, we're gonna do a, 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 a cycle. We're gonna keep doing cycles over and over until you're gonna get used to it. Once we finish, I'm gonna ride with you guys. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna demonstrate a lot of stuff and then ride with it also. We do cycles. Then we're heading out. Remember the, the wall and the gate you guys came through? We're gonna see if we make a U-turn between that. I'm not gonna tell you how thin it is. <laughs> you don't do it if you don't wanna do it. I'm not worried about you. Okay? <laughs> That's what we wanna do. Trust me. Every time we have a practice here, several people do it. <laughs> the last thing. <laughs> this is why we call it a confidence court. Now, after that, here's what we have planned. We just we just implemented this a couple of practices ago. When we finish that, it's not over. We're going into conquer. What we normally meet on Wednesday. Did you go last night? I didn't either. I didn't know I put it out. Where we normally meet on Wednesday, we go into conquer, maybe pick a restaurant, get us a sandwich or something. Throughout that ride, because we want to implement everything that we're doing here, except we won't be doing any U-turn. Throughout that ride, we're going to be evaluating. Not to see what you're doing wrong, to see what you retain. That's it. Any questions up, up to this far? Ready to get started? Okay. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, this is going to be the only time we're going to duck walk our bikes. We're going to line up here. That's cool. We could do it all at the same time and tell you first couple exercises gonna be quick. So at that train stop, I can finish talking. We're gonna line up here. We're gonna duck walk our bike around. Once we finish the direction we want to face and straighten our wheel, I want everybody to get off their bike and we're gonna measure. That way you'll know exactly how tight you can make turns without leaning. This 24. Been here enough to know it. That one right there is 20. The next one 20. The one over there is 24, that's 30. So, suit up, mount up. Oh, one, one other thing. We all adults. Wear what you want to wear. Did you bring that sheet? Yeah, I got it. Don't worry about it right now. Okay. This is why I didn't give it to you yet. You, you know the whole procedure. This is why we do the waiver sheets. Because if you decide not to wear something and you fall, the last meeting we talked about it, we got sued. We, we won the lawsuit, trust me. And mm -hmm. I'll do that in a different video. I want to explain to everybody what we've done and why we won that lawsuit. But that's why we're doing that. So as an adult, wear what you want to wear. I personally act at, that's me. But this is why I don't like recording group sessions because I'm off and off the bike and I don't have to keep taking the helmet off, the talk and all that right. stuff. So, but we're going to get through this today. We're going to have some fun doing it. So mount up and we're just going to line up right here. And I'm going to do the first demonstration on turning radius all right what we're about to practice now is duck walking so each rider can learn their bike turning radius to give them that confidence when we start doing these tight u-turns this duck walking it's the only time you're gonna get the duck walk today so you're all right hey robert No, you stay there. <laughs> he got cake by, blocked. <laughs> cake. Okay, Robert, full lock. No throttle. See, Robert used to ride a... Uh, 1500 and an excellent rider on that 1500. He just trying to get used to this gold wing. And he's complete. Lock, turn it off. Stand by, Dave. Stand by. Full lock. Look where you want to go. Duck walking around. Keep the bike straight up as it can. Straight up. There you go. Nice and smooth. Keep it straight up and down. 
Eyes up, eyes up. Excellent, excellent. Turn it off. Now watch how tight, watch how tight that Harley is. Get on for a second, Dave. Huh? Exit, get off the bike, dismount. Perfect. Now look at this. Now if you have a fear, if you ever fear making a 24 foot U turn, from there to here is 24. Which means when you get to a U turn, brother, you're going to be killing it. I'm telling you. All, All right. it gives to make tighter turns. And that was without a lean. Imagine when you put a little lean in, how that's going to do. Okay. Go over there and get behind him. Cake, rip it. Lock the wheel. Get your duck walk on. Look where you want to go. Cake Rider 2015 F6B Honda go away. Was she named? Come on, can, can you go, go, go? No leaning. She named it Jet Blue. Now, why aren't you going to see the difference once she complete hers compared to the Harley Davidson's? Turn it off. Look how much space you have. See, what this does is require no leaning, a very little leaning when you make it a 24 foot U turn. This is 24 foot, look how much space you have left. Go by the tree. Okay, we're going on to the next evolution, the next exercise, I should say. And what we're gonna be doing over here is the number one, the most important exercise that I think that all motorcyclists should do is emergency braking. We're gonna set up a swerve also. Okay? Okay, the next thing they're about to do is emergency braking. We have a 20 foot cone. We would not be going faster than 20, 25 miles an hour in this parking lot. And each rider is gonna do it. Hey, right. everybody go set up. And when he hit that first cone, when he hit that first cone, he should be braking, squeezing before he get to the second cone, which is 20, 25 feet. I forgot what I measured it at. And we're doing this one before we do the, the slow starts and stops because I think this is the most important thing that a rider can do. On our YouTube channel, somebody put on there that, hey, when you duck walking your bike around a U-turn, uh, the officer's gonna give you no ticket. So yes, U-turn is a safety issue also, but this is more of a safety issue than anything. So Robert coming first. Back by the tree. Excellent stop. I don't know if you got 20 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour! I don't know if you made it 20 miles an hour. You look like it's going pretty slow. So up next is David on a Harley Davidson. Oh, that was a nice takeoff, David. Break. Perfect. Back in line, brother. K coming next. Now we're not gonna do this one over and over because this is something that you can actually practice on your own. He killed this bike, we're gonna work on that. This is something you can practice on your own. We just wanna get it in everybody's head that this is something that you need to be practicing over and over every time you go out. K up next. I wanted to get into second gear. Okay, she in second gear. And she's going faster than everybody. Uh-uh, what's with that coast and stuff? Go do that again. <laughs> this emergency braking. She tried, to, she tried to coast her way until it stopped. I wanted to, when you hit that thing, a quick break. No coasting. I mean, we're not gonna do it another time. I just, she just tried to get over, so you know we have to make her do it yeah, again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Hold on, let me let me see you. You, I don't know, I don't know. Hold on. 
Okay, you pass it, you pass it. Here's another thing I want to run. We're not going to do it again, but I want to run something by you guys. Soon, kick it back over there. I want everybody to check this out. Okay, it's kind of hard to go into it with these ABS, but she tried to coast that last one. Oh, does she have ABS on that? Yeah. Oh, you have ABS on that? I don't, no. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so. I wish it did. In that, what I forgot to tell you, what, what we're looking for, we're not going to do it again. What we're looking for, when you stop, when you stop, the worst thing that can happen. Now we're here, I can grab the when you stop, the worst thing that can happen is somebody else branded you because they weren't paying attention. Oh, sure. So, mind if I jump on your back for a second? Go ahead. Okay. So when you're doing it, when you're doing your emergency braking, what you need to do is, as soon as you do your emergency braking, start checking your mirrors immediately. And always, always in first gear, never put it in neutral. So as soon as you do your braking, check your mirrors, looking for that car coming behind you to rear you. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, we're gonna move on. The next one, the exact same thing, Except we're gonna swerve around an object. I'm just gonna put move the next cone. Oh, the cone over here. I'm gonna put my bag in. If you come into my bag, you break. Or if you don't want to break, that's fine. Push steer around. This is about the fastest we're gonna go in this live today. You ready? I know that's one of your favorite, the swerving. <laughs> so you're a swerver, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've done a few swerves. This is where counter steering is coming to play, not counter barrier. Push, push. So if you don't want to break and you stay at 20 miles an hour, just make sure you push. When you go around it, push back to continue on your direction of travel. Let's run through it. Oh, this part gonna go quick. So you want me to come in? Same type, exact same way. You done? Yeah. Right, right there. Either break or just start thinking about going around it. Or you break and swerve. Break, release, and swerve. So I can come in and then just toward your bag and then just swerve yes. around it without breaking. If you want to do it, exactly. Okay. On. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do. Everybody, go get in line. Next thing we're gonna do is basically the exact same thing except swerving. And then, you guys gotta pay attention because we're gonna work on smooth starts and stops. I know Kate have it already. She's out here with me every day, every time we're doing this. And she's so short, she have no choice but to put <laughs> her left foot down only. So Robert gonna go, and I'm gonna just keep the camera rolling. I heard a switch. Swerve around. Excellent, excellent. Come on. This is where counter steering come into play, not counter balance. Swerve around it. Well, he didn't get exactly what I wanted him to do, but I'll talk to him about it. Okay, coming up next. Swerve around. She didn't do it either, but hey. We just want to run those through real quick. Staging area. Okay, we rolling along. What the rider's gonna do now is, we're gonna do starts and stops. When they came in, I was evaluating them, and I told them I was evaluating them, and watching how they start and stop. And Robert and Dave, they were dropping both feet. So we're gonna work on this, and we're gonna be evaluating that throughout the entire day. So if you're coming to the Boots and Jeans Riders, practice sessions this is what you're gonna go through we keep turning the camera off because I'm talking to them a lot and I don't have a lot of battery so Kate gonna go first and demonstrate it come on and she's gonna stop by me and what I'm looking at is her hand I'm not worrying about her left foot because I know she already does it okay what I saw and I know you didn't do it I want your hand all the way off the brake okay. don't even Good. cover it don't even cover it go back and get in line you're gonna do multiple ones next time so right now they're just stopping by me and I'm watching it. The next one they're gonna do is probably about 10 slow starts and stop. Rob is up next. And what I'm doing, looking at his hand and making sure that that right foot stay on the rear brake. Perfect. 
I already know Robert. I know what he could do. Here come Dave. Now, this is not emergency braking. It's just coming to a smooth stop. Okay. Excellent. Only problem. Look where your hand is. Get it off that brake. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I, I saw you. I saw you really hitting the rear brake, but I saw a little bit of that also. Okay. All right. Now this one. Next we gonna do is they're gonna do multiple stops. They're not gonna. They're gonna stop. They're gonna stop by me. But as I raise my hand, they're gonna do multiple stops. And then we're moving on to the cone weave. This is good stuff. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And you got to be a subscriber to attend the practices. So here we go. Cake up next. It's going to do multiple stops. What I'm doing is giving her a signal to move and watching her multiple stops. Come on. Two. I'm trying to get each rider at least into five. Now, as you can see, hand out on the rear brake. Nice smooth stop. Turn around and go by the tree. That's going to be the correction is not on the front brake. Not on the front brake, yeah. <laughs> she had to correct me. So she's going to go back around, okay? Go back around, stage up by the helmet. Here's Robert next. Got the signal, he stopped. Perfect. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Switch it around. Get on the brake, get on that rear brake. Switch it, switch it around. Rear brake. Yeah, smooth start. There we go. Come on. We'll be the last one. Excellent. I'm used to having my left foot up all the time. I'm like this. A lot of sports bikers do that. We had uh, four sports bikers, and they always put both feet down no matter what. Kind of broke them out of it, but they, you know, we're yeah. going to go back to what they're doing. That's why we evaluate after you do the practice. Yeah, we I've been trying them. to practice keeping this one up, but... This is when, when you when you bring it down when you bring it down that's fine yeah but when we you know it's time to light turn red turn green switch it and get back on it yeah. that way you always have a little at least some something ready just right. in case you need to stop again right. here's that animals running in front of you right. all right go get behind cake stage up this is david on a harley davidson stop excellent look like you're hitting that front brake though because i see that bike dipping Perfect. Now I gotta catch this last one. And make sure he's not on that, that front brake. Excellent. Thank you. Stage up. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do, I'm gonna demonstrate it. We're gonna do what we call clutch control. Okay, the next exercise we're doing is gonna be clutch control. We're gonna do two, two runs. First run, no brake at all all you're doing is a slow race if you've done a slow race before you know the slower you go your bike going to wobble a bit if you go fast release the bike it's going to go straight you have no control you need no control of a bike that's going straight when you go slow that's where you need control so we're going to do two we're going to take off we're going to start down here. i'm going to demonstrate it and all we're going to do is ride slow i'm going to brake 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 release the brake for the demonstration purpose i'm going to take my foot off the brake you don't have to take your foot off, but do not touch the brake. And just control your speed in that friction zone, steady throttle. If you want to speed up a little bit more, just a little bit let out. Do not kill a rear wheel. Power always, 100% to the rear wheel, always. You want to slow down, pull it in a little bit. Do not put a clutch all the way in because you disengage power. So you always want to continue to go on and on. When people do competitions, and I'm talking about high level competition, these guys will stop their bike because they got that throttle 
they tricking the wheel to believe it's actually going faster than it is. You got to... The first one we're going to do, throttle only, no brake. Turn around and do the second one with throttle. Let me throttle only. <laughs> clutch on. Do clutch and brake. We're just going to go slow. Slow, 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 slow. We're just going to do east revolution one time. One with no brake, so your hand should not be on that front brake or you should not be on a rear brake. Just to get you to say, okay, I can control. I'm mastering that clutch. I'm master, I can control my speed with the clutch. A lot of people say, no, use your brake to control your speed. That's true. That's why we put the brake in second. It's going to make it a lot better. And what we normally do every single time, we leave here. Well, we used to do the confidence builder. We don't really do that anymore. Every single time we leave here, we try to find the busiest street with every light. And we try to get caught by the red light to see if we can do cuss control without putting our foot down. Of course, you don't want to put the right foot down. Anyway, you want to put the left foot down first. So that's what this is about. And it's going to help in everything we do out here. So this is going to be the last run that we're going over here. It's going to get slow, a little bit slower. So we're going to be out here a while. Make sense? I'm going to demonstrate the first one. Got to go get big easy, and then we're going to get in line and do it again. Rich is about to demonstrate clutch control. Turn your highs off, babe. Slow speed riding with no brake. He's doing this demonstration with his foot off. He's only doing clutch and friction zone. This all this. That's how smooth you can ride when you're riding in the friction zone. The next one we're gonna do is a slow speed ride using the brakes. Rich just got to get him some in there. He felt left out. Because everybody else was. He's going to come forward. Still going slow. Using clutch control. Friction zone. And he's braking now. He's braking. Steady throttle. I can hear his bike. He should stop by the bag up there. So there you have a nice smooth stop. Coming back and he's gonna stage up with the rest of us. So now we're gonna do what he just did. Smooth, slow, clutch control, steady throttle, no brake, slow maneuvers. The first one we're doing was is with no brakes. The second one is brake. We're just gonna cover our rear brake. We're not gonna take our foot off the break because Rich was just showing us that for demonstration. So. Okay. Okay. As you see the first one I just basically was going a little faster because I was controlling the speed with the brake. I had to actually brake a little bit more because I was going too fast. I had to brake a little bit more, more, more and then when I took my foot off the brake I was controlling the speed with the clutch and just had a steady throttle and then you're going to go a little fast on that. Sometimes you can get it super slow and then the next one you go around and putting the brake and everything in. The slower you go this is not, some people say, well, he wasn't going straight enough. He's not going straight. If you ain't been in the road, you've been, uh, you won the last wing ding thing, didn't you? If you've been in that, did they do the slow race? Put the um, slow race in it? They, uh, yeah, they, um, well, they canceled a lot of that stuff. Oh, okay. But the slow the race, rain. the slow race in the competition, yeah. you have five feet. So the slower you go, you're going you're gonna to wiggle a little bit. So don't worry about that going, well, I'm wiggling, I'm doing it wrong. No, you're not. Purpose of keep your eyes full. And that's very, very few times you're going to be on the street riding that slow. What you're doing is putting pressure on your rear brake, 
and you steady throttle, your hand is in the friction zone, steady throttle, and he's using the brake to control it as well as the friction zone. You're gonna see, you're gonna feel like you're gonna drop the bike, you're not. Get up off the brake and let the bike go. This is about getting that slow, slow maneuver yeah. going. So that's gonna be the second time. The first time, just do it with clutch and everything. This is not judging. Only thing I would judge you on if I was seeing, and I catch your hand on that front, that front brake. That's the only thing I'm looking at. But just really start doing that, and then when you're out in your everyday riding, you'll see. You'll go, red light. Slow, 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 slow. Green, yes, I did it. That's just the way it works. And you don't have to drag your feet doing it. Okay? Mount up. No. Let's run it. So this cake doing it with just clutch only, no brake. Looking good, looking good. And that's just with clutch only, no brake. Let me check and see if she hit the brake on the other side. No brake, roll out. Excellent. Robert done an excellent takeoff just now. Robert come in, it's clutch only, clutch only, no brakes. Smooth clutch control. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Roll out. Okay, here come Dave. He's still putting two feet down on his takeoff. Oh, he's looking excellent. No brakes. I gotta make sure he's not doing that rear brake. Because this is about just the clutch only. Clutch control, no brake, no brake. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. No brake, excellent, excellent, roll out. The only thing is he wasn't maintaining the steady throttle. All right, our next evolution. They already done the slow cone weave with the small cones. Here come Dave on a Harley. Throttle up, throttle up. There you go. Keep it up there. Keep it up there. Go faster. He's scared to lean the bike. Look at me. Look at me. Throttle, throttle, throttle. You got to keep that throttle going. Stand, stand by, stand by. Keep your finger off that front brake. You got to keep that throttle going. Cause I can hear it from back here because you got it all I can hear it. But you kind of like letting it go. Yeah, pick up speed right, a little bit. Right. Pick up speed a little bit more. Yeah. If you miss a cone, no big deal. Don't look down. Look forward, look at me, and just let that bike go under. Looking down. Yeah. Just, just here's here's what I, I, I suggest a lot also. As you're going back down here, when you make a U-turn, you're going back down here. Try to work between those with no cones. And then by the time you get to the cones, you're gonna feel like you got it. But just pick the speed up a little bit more and just let the bike go. And, it, and, it, and that way, you got a lot of power going to the rear wheel. What you're doing is killing that power. I can hear it every time. You're trying to coach through it. But, but it's getting better, I'm telling you. But you just keep letting it go. Come on, Cake. There we go. There we go. There we go. A second and the last one again. Same the third one though. Go back around. Don't look down there. There you go. Swing out. Swing out. Swing out. Go ahead. You missed one, but go ahead. Look at that. I'm not there. Right.
I put the tall cones up to make sure that they swing it out wide enough. The first one he's going to demonstrate is he's going real slow, but he's still going to lean his butt. Okay, just completed a successful run. So Dave up next, then Robert. Come on, Dave, swing it, swing it, baby, swing it. Take your time, throttle, throttle. Don't look at the cone, look at me, look at me. Keep coming, don't worry about knocking one down. Keep coming, keep coming, yeah, looking good. Keep coming, keep coming. You knock, you knock one down, no, two down, two. Camera down and go uh, catch all of it. Come on, Robert. See, this is this is excellent. This is what I love about motorcycle. Paul don't have his bike out here, but he's helping out here, he's assisting. And Robert going, Robert, an excellent rider, so I know he's not gonna knock any down. Excellent. 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 These cones are spaced at 15 feet, and Robert got it with no problem. Come on, Dave, come on. You can do it, you can do it. I got confidence in him. He was doing it with no brakes, now he's using his brakes, so he's getting a lot better. Keep going. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Keep going, keep going, do it again, finish it. Finish that last one. Here come cake second run she done excellent on the first run and this is our second run i want to see your dip baby dip oh she's showing off now she's going fast i hit a throttle i hit a throttle missed the last one but done excellent go to the tree this is robert last run we have to think we've done this at least eight times it's only two times with the tall cones. He's going out wide enough, doing great. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, 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 yes. Go under the tree. Huh? Go by the tree. The tree is our staging area. Actually, where I am is our staging area, but we changed it to the tree because of the way I have it set up today. Throttle. Throttle. Wanna hear it? Good, good. Come on, keep going. good baby looking good see I always get that positive reinforcement no matter what happened we're gonna work with him he's gonna come back again because I know he have time to do it he's retired you know he's retired so we're gonna do it so we're going back under the tree we about to do sharp right and left turn I'm turning the camera off because we've been running out of battery space this is why I don't record all our parking lot practices and I like to get that personal one-on-one -on -one touch with everybody that's why we give you that personal one-on-one -on -one touch try to give you all my experience all the skill all the schools i've been to to show you that you can become a better better slow skill motorcycle operator but your slow skill maneuver is going to go up every time you do this okay about to move on to the next evolution okay what we're doing is sharp right and left turn we're gonna do right way more than left because people have problems going right stop so we're about to run this right quick with the right i'm gonna leave the camera on for a second to the third die we got offset cone weave, we got U-turns. We don't know if we're gonna be able to get everything in. 
Look, look, look. Throttle, 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 throttle. Keep going, keep going. All right, you didn't put your foot down. That's the most important thing. From a stop, Cake. Okay, we just done a couple of roll-throughs. We're about to do a couple of them from a stop. And then we're going to move forward. Cake coming up from a stop. Take it, baby. Where you want to go? Where you want to go? Do your thing. Throttle up. Foot up immediately. Cruise. Ride it, ride it, ride it. Come on, Robert. See, we always tell them practice like they're going to ride out on the street. Once you make that turn, you're going to go. Stop duck walking. Put that foot up. Stop right from the stop. Good. Go. This guy's an excellent rider. Watch this. Oh, yeah. It's going to be his last time. He's going to roll through. his foot down but he got a lot of improvement yes kick about to go to the left now we're gonna do two to the left roll position left throttle through throttle through get over here keep going keep going go 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 throttle through don't look down at the cone. Don't look at the cone. You got it, man. Yeah, I kind of get emotional. We don't work on left turn too much because it's pretty easy. Left. Throttle. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. He in that last cone, but he's doing great. Okay, we're going to move on to the next evolution. We're not going to do left turn from a stop. We're going to do a right turn from a stop and make it a real curve. Throttle, throttle, throttle. There you go. He's killing the throttle before he gets to the current. Don't worry about the camera. It ain't on. It's not on, trust me. The camera not on. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Friction zone. Quick head turn. Roll position. Find me. Find me. Keep coming. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Excellent stop. Here's the great thing. You would have made the 27. You already know you could do it in 16 because of your bike turning radius, right? So your head turn was excellent, but you let up off the throttle. Okay? Run it again. head turn see we supposed to be doing 27 but he just wanted to go start doing 24 throttle 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 look at me yes that's what I'm talking about people hold on Robert ain't gonna have no problem doing it that's Robert everybody I know named Robert know how to ride good quick head turn he got off the seat a little bit that's cool I like that We're not gonna be doing a U-turn as long. Everybody got it. Maybe we're gonna have them go to the right. Cake. Okay, gotta run hers. Find me. Quick head turn. Throttle. Okay, she made it. I know she can go quicker than that. Pick it up a little bit. A little faster. Lean the bike a little bit, yeah. 
not not going down. You doing breaking it fine, head turn was fine. But then you start going a little slow. I can hit a throttle, but I want it up a little higher and quicker. Come on, run it a couple more times. See, we don't record too many of our parking lot practice, but you guys get to see what's going on right now. And he's doing excellent. That's Dave on a Harley Davidson. Keep the throttle up. There you go. Keep it up. Quick air turn. Keep it up. Throttle, throttle. There you go. <laughs> yes. Woo. Slow down. Stop, stop. Thank you. Man. That's what's up, my brother. That's what's up. We're going to do it a couple more times. Then we go. We're doing good. Then we're gonna move on to the gonna move on to the uh, offset cone wheel. Gold wing rider, he part of our chapter, so he ain't not gonna have a problem now, obviously. Now we we're supposed to be doing 27 foot U turns, but everybody started off doing a 24 because their confidence level has risen. Quick head turn, keep that throttle. That's Cake doing it again. Roll position. Good head turn. Lean, 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 lean. Excellent, excellent. 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 Oh, I thought you said. No, I was saying excellent. Keep going. Give me a little faster speed on that U turn if you can. One more. We got one more. Then we're moving on. Throttle. I don't need to hear that throttle. Keep it up, keep the throttle, I need to hear it. Throttle. Roll position. Throttle, throttle. Yeah, you're right. Yes. That's what's up. Now he, he's kind of letting up the throttle a little bit, but he actually got it. So this last time, do a right one. Go, go turn to the right, you turn to the right. Right turn. And this is actually a 20 foot U turn. Watch, he got it. Look at that lean, he got it, 20 foot. Perfect. That's cake. Lean it, baby, lean it, baby. There you go. Right turn. Right turn, you turn. Where you going? No. <laughs> Get back in line. We done with this. He's the last one. They are looking good. They are looking good. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Here we go. He already know his bike could do. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Keep it throttle. Yes, yes. Man, you're looking like a champ. You're looking like a champ. That's the last run. But when you're doing that, as you're in the U-turn, you're coming off the throttle a little bit too much. Stay on it. Other than that, you're going to, uh, actually, you know what? Just have, go over there and tell everybody to come back right here because we're about to go through this next evolution. How are we going to our next evolution? We're wrapping it up. Threw it away. Okay, gentlemen, this is where we're going to do quick bike transitions. Gentlemen. Offset cone weave. Oh, you're not a gentleman? So if you come over here, look at the orange cones. It look wide, huh? Yeah. That's 24 feet. I just decided not to use this. From here to the green cones. That's 10 feet. 10 feet, really? Now, wow. what I want you to do, which means you got 24, you got an extra 10 feet at 34, 44. What I want you to do is when you're riding this offset cone weave, this is where bike transition take place. This is where the real, look where you want to go place place. Because we're basically doing an S. Up, down, like this. Nothing straight. So we finally at the offset cone weave. This is Robert performing the offset cone weave flawlessly on the 1800 gold wing. Nice tight turns. And this is last turn. His head is turning. 
way before he get to that spot. Park it. Excellent. You notice what's going on, how the head was turning a little earlier? Mm -hmm. Just take your time, make sure you keep that crowd. Like I said, if you go up a little bit, don't worry about it. Just don't blip it. As long as you got the throttle to that rear wheel and take it slow. Even if your bike have to stand straight up, he was leaning extreme, trust me. If your bike have to stand straight up, just turn the wheel and look where you want to go. All right, Dave, let's run it. This guy doing very, very well. Uh, he's been riding quite some time. He just wanted to get his slow skill maneuvers together. Come to me. This way, this way, this way, this way. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Come this way, this way. Now it's transition. Don't worry about that one. Go to the next one. There you go. Look where you want to go. Throttle, throttle. Come this way, this way. Now turn. Go all the way to the green cone. All the way to the green cone. Just go to that one. Don't worry about it. Go to the next one. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Steady throttle. Look to this cone. Go. There you go. Keep the throttle going. Keep the steady throttle. Steady, steady. Switch. Getting better. Now he's getting better as he go along. Come this way. Change. Oh, yes. Throttle, throttle. Nice, nice. Quick head turn. Look this way. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah, he's trying to go straight to the cones. All right, so I'm gonna walk him through it right quick. Um, it's slow riding. I mean, look, look what he's doing. He's parking right now, nice, slow and smooth. Turn it off. Circle weave. What I'm looking at now, Kay gonna leave the first part. I'm looking at when we get to the lights, smooth stops, smooth start. If a light is red, put that left foot down. If it don't look like you're about to turn green, then put the right foot down for balance. And then this one, it look like you're about to turn green, right foot up, ready to roll. You going all the way to talk with us? Yeah, I gotta go to Warner Creek anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> that concludes our parking lot practice. I know we didn't get a lot of it on video because I like to get more involved, get that personalization to each by each, each person that's riding the bike and to do those parts slow skill. But this is what you get when you cut a boots and jeans riders and GWRRA. So perfect. What y'all doing? And if not done, let's ride you back. Ride long, ride long. <laughs> Cut! Always close it out with that, but I just I start laughing. But if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly. Ride safe. For Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Cake. And I'm Robert. I'm David. And we out. Hey. Hey.